it's also important to remember what the vote was, that there were only a handful of people who supported that. And I will also add that I'm, I'm very sorry that Simpson Bowles actually did any political endorsements. And I, I want you to know that not in my district, so I'm not feeling it personally. But I think that when you put something out there, the best thing to do is stay away from the politicians. Having said that, there's lots of changes in there that I don't think people are aware of. But it, it's a good starting point. And it was rejected by almost everybody. But it is a good starting point. But Here's the, where I had the problems. I had problems with the, the Medicare and Social Security part of it. But I made a, a little list that I think maybe some other people would have trouble with. It lets the Bush tax cuts expire. Now, the Heritage Foundation and other groups did not like the idea that the tax cuts would, would expire. And so they were right away saying no. And that's, that's why you saw a lot of vote there. It ends preferential treatment of capital gains. So a lot of people like that, but a lot of people don't like that. It changes the tax rate so that we only have three categories. I think I could look at that. It changes the mortgage deduction, so it's actually like a 15% refundable interest. Now, these are all things in it. Not everyone had to be there, and several times they gave choices there. It hides taxes on gasoline. Try running that by people. It's a lot of special interest. And then it has very deep defense cuts, and a lot of people were very worried about the deep defense cuts. And I would be worried about deep defense cuts as well. So for me, the deep defense cuts are a problem, and also the Medicare and Social Security. For others, it might be the capital gains or, or taking away or right, raising the, the gas tax. I mean, there's a lot of reasons here. But it is a working document. But I don't think that, that people should think that, well, they just had a, a perfect opportunity, and they all rejected it. What's wrong with those people? I actually understand the Republicans and the Democrats on that. But it doesn't mean that you don't sit there with the document open, take your pencils out, and start working it. 